Hey guys, what's up? This is Arabian Gains and today in this vlog, I'm right here in the city of Venice. I'm gonna show you how the homeless population living right here in the city of Venice. And I'm sure all of you guys remember Gold's Gym here in Venice, California. How we used to see Arnold lifting weights and a lot of bodybuilders, they call it the Mecca of bodybuilding. This is right here, look at it. Do you guys see that? This is the Mecca of bodybuilding, Gold Gym here in Venice. Uh, but look what it's surrounded with. It has a lot of homeless tents, as you guys see. And that's not all. Uh, I'm going to get in the car in a minute and drive around and I'm going to show you guys uh, basically the sides and what's going behind it. There's a lot of homeless living right here. They're invading this area. Like you can see right here clearly across the street. I know it's not safe to be walking and videoing them. I'll be in the car in a minute. But I just want to give you guys an idea of Gold Gem the mecca of bodybuilding what it turned to and how the police right here in the city they're not doing much to stop this homeless invasion so this is the building I know it used to be a beautiful area I came here uh, I used to come here and work out on and off. Uh, I think I was here about two, two, three years ago, and it was not as bad as right now. We we had a few homeless living in a tent, but right now it's basically they're taking the sidewalks, and some of them basically staying in their cars and basically not not moving their car, basically living out of their car right here. Look, right here, homeless, camping, and right here, you guys could get the picture. Basically, the on the street. Try to watch. I'm also gonna drive in a car to show you guys the whole streets. But this is the beautiful beach of Venice. Look in the street. This is basically right in the street. We have somebody right here passed out, right sleeping in the street. I don't know who to blame for this. The city, the police, the politicians, I don't even know. That's it. I know they're talking next to me. One of them said he got the police cam. I was called a douchebag. I'm an outstanding citizen, I pay my taxes, I serve this country, I'm a douchebag. But you're living like this, taking up the sidewalks, living for free, consider yourself a good person. Wow, what a society. Alright guys, I'm gonna hop in the car right now and uh, I'm gonna do some driving I'll see you guys soon all right as you see guys I was walking uh, earlier and videoing everything now I got in a car it's much safer much better and 
and just trying to basically go for a longer distance to show you guys more streets i don't want to walk all these streets on foot but as you see when i was walking a lot of homeless were talking trash to me basically they have the audacity to question why i'm videoing when they are living basically rent free as you see i was called a douchebag because i was videoing i don't know how, how I'm a douchebag when I'm actually an outstanding citizen and you are living rent free taking up the sidewalk as you see how the streets right here destroyed people riding on the ground uh, this guy right here basically has his stuff in the middle of the road I know if you and I or any good citizen would have our stuff laid on the road like this we'll get a ticket but for somehow the police let these guys run the city now we're directly in a street behind Gold's Gym Gold Gym is in Venice, if you didn't know that. They call it the Mecca of bodybuilding. Arnold used to work there, and a lot of good bodybuilders and big names usually go work out at that gym. It's beautiful, it's big, it's supposedly hardcore. So now we're going on the side, and I'll show you guys the front of that gym. I know I came here two or three years ago to this gym to work out. This area was not bad at all like this. It was clean. But for somehow, since then, I've been driving around here and there and on this area. And every time I drive, I see there's like another tent or two just added to the bunch. Now you see the gym, they're open. They're back for business during COVID. They have everything outside. And right here, we'll be turning on the street right in front of the gym. As you see already from here, you could see tents on the street. Uh, stands outside this beautiful gym the gym it's real nice inside if you haven't been in it and look there's a tent right there i have no idea how business like this could operate with tents right outside of it i mean i don't know anybody would feel safe to go inside where there's a tent if you park your car there's a tent out there you don't know what might happen these people have nothing to lose they lost everything so they could commit any crime and there's a lot of violence been going on between these guys lately. And uh, from my understanding, there's a lot of drug dealers be having tents out there and they use their tents to sell drugs to the homeless and drugs to everybody. It's basically a stash house in the middle of the street. Uh, like this, they will go undetected. I never heard or seen a cop searching a homeless tent because they don't care. But imagine you have a homeless tent full of drugs, selling drugs, basically a dealer in the street. I don't think the cops will pay attention to that. I mean, the cops, they already see how these streets are ruined. They're not doing anything about it. My biggest question is, how does the mayor and the governor feel about what is happening right now in Venice? I mean, imagine the mayor driving around and looks at this. Is he proud of himself? If the government see this stuff online or the internet or YouTube, is he proud of himself? Nothing is done to fix it. Look, the stop sign is destroyed. Uh, I think this is a school area because we've seen a, a school zone. I mean, who's going to bring their kids to school when there is tents outside like this? That's like 10 by 20. That's basically a house right there. More tents right here outside these businesses. I have no idea how these businesses operate. Look. More tents and more tents. And basically they're riding on the ground. The stop sign is completely has graffiti on it. The other sign have graffiti across the street. There is more tents. Uh, this city once used to be a beautiful city, but for somehow it just became the dump for all the homeless population I'm not sure if those other cities will put up with that but Venice for somehow they don't care there's no enforcement at all they said they're gonna be ticketing the homeless who lives illegally on the sidewalk but as you see there's like hundreds of them living right now I mean these streets I'm not sure if it's safe like I personally I don't live in this area but I don't think I could park my vehicle outside like this knowing there is a million tents outside like these guys have nothing to lose they lost everything the a lot of them chose that life a lot of them chose the life to live in the street they wants to be druggy they don't want help they refuse help you i have met few of them that they're veterans they serve in the military 
but they refuse to get help from the VA and they want to live in the street. The VA is out there to help you. If you're a vet and you served and you need some help, the VA will help you. But if you don't want to help yourself, nobody's going to help you. There's that guy right there passed out. I mean, there, we cannot help people that they refuse to help themselves. There's cars parked out there. Like, you don't even know why a car is parked right there. Maybe a drug transaction. Somebody buying drugs, dropping drugs off. I mean, look right there. There's a storage area back there. Who's going to keep their items, their belongings in a storage area when there's tents outside? It's a pretty scary area at night. At night, there's a lot of street fights and other things. It's like a big dump. I know this, uh, this street looks like a from a third world country if you look at Yemen or a third world country because I lived in a lot of parts of the Middle East you'll see things like that but you don't expect to see something like this in America and nothing is done about it you know here on this other street there's more tents as you see some of the tents not even on the sidewalk they're kind of a little bit outside on the road and I mean there's somebody right here living in this I call it minivan or van or a bus whatever you want to call it uh, some people has vehicles, but they're homeless. I mean, they better use that vehicle to get a job. And you see this baby right here with a nicer RV. These guys, I'm not sure they're homeless forever, been homeless for a while, or they basically had a job and lost everything and came to live in their RV, and that's how they chose to uh, after losing everything. But you could tell they have money to own an RV like this. You have money. And right here, I'll be finishing this video. Look at these RVs. Yeah, these people have money to live like that. But you don't know. Probably they don't want to rent and pay $6,000 for an apartment. So they chose to live in a, their RV. So this is it for this vlog. If you guys enjoyed this, please comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the future videos. Alright guys, this is it for this vlog. I'll be doing more vlogs in the future, maybe about Venice or the beach or different cities here in California and Nevada. Let me know what you guys want to see and what topics you want me guys to touch on in my vlogs. Uh, please make sure you comment, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the future videos.